Hi, and welcome back to my shop. Today I'd like to show you a project where I took an old ordinary item from around the house and used some of the parts to totally rebuild it and give it an updated, more modern look. I took this old weather station that a lot of you might have hanging on your wall right now. Uh, it had a thermometer, a barometer, and a humidity gauge. And what I did was I took the gauges out of it and then totally rebuilt the whole thing. And I made it look like this. This new and improved weather station is made of all solid oak and I'm going to show you some pictures of the process I went through as I was building it. Here's a picture of the weather station before I started. I like the frame but it was kind of lightweight and the black panel with the brass line around it and also the brass rings around the gauges kind of gave it an 80s and 90s look so I wanted to update that. My in-laws had this Oak TV Entertainment Center that was designed for the old size TVs and they asked me to cut a section out of the top so that they could place a newer widescreen TV on it. So here's a picture of how it ended up after I cut a section out and just placed the top back on. They were able to place their new widescreen TV on it. Plus I used some of the oak that was cut out and planed it down to use for the weather station. I don't know about you guys, but I've never looked at the back of one of these weather stations and it's pretty cool how they have these little springs and metal parts and I guess they sense the temperature and the barometric pressure and that's what makes the dials move on the front. The first gauge measures the temperature and it has a coiled spring that's surrounded by that metal piece. The second gauge looks a lot different. It's the barometer and it measures the barometric pressure using that metal disc. And then the third one looks a lot like the temperature gauge, uh, but it measures the humidity. To get started, I removed the gauges from the original frame and cut some small squares of oak that the gauges could be mounted onto. Next, I used my scroll saw to cut holes in the frames to receive the gauges, and I also cut the pieces for the frame and the dowels for the glue up. I started the glue up by inserting the dowels into the three square pieces and connecting them together. I used a ratchet band clamp from Harbor Freight to clamp it up and I made sure everything was square and that the gaps were even around all the sides. For a quick and easy finish I sprayed several coats of deft clear gloss lacquer and that pegboard with the screws in it is great for supporting work pieces during finishing. I covered the gauges with masking tape and spray painted the rings black and then I just glued them in with Aline's tacky glue. Cutting out the three squares and the outer frame was pretty straightforward but the key to this project was careful measurement of where these dowels needed to be so that I had an equal gap around all the frames. So if you get some extra shop time and you're not sure what to build or you just want to build something quickly in a weekend. Take a look around the house and see if you can find something old and turn it into something new again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Be sure to visit my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com where you'll find links to my YouTube channel, Keek, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and other social media sites.